hey what's up guys welcome back to my react tutorial this time so i'm making this series on react because um i feel that you know if you are going for web development then react is one of the greatest choice uh, the most important uh, reason which i would say is that you know it has a very good job market so if you're looking for a job as a web developer then if you have good uh, knowledge of react then you can get a number of jobs with a very good package as well and there are a lot of things uh, which are built on react which is kind of very good like uh, there are frameworks like gatsby and all that so um i actually am not a web developer first of all i play with web in my free time and i do some i try to do some stuff so it's also that uh, why i feel that react is good because um i used flutter first and now uh, if you will ask me then i can say you then if you know flutter then react is also very easy for you to understand if you want to go for the web development and uh, there are also so many benefits of uh, uh, using a react js for web app development there are the, the good concepts behind it and uh, uh, let me just tell you that you know um, the flutter the way of making apps or flutter also inspired from a uh, react so uh, that's what you can say i am not going to talk about react native because we already know flutter and i'm also not interested in switching from flutter to anything else never uh, so flutter is for mobile apps for sure but i'm not still sure what's the progress with the hummingbird project and for the time being i have played with angular dart and um, vue.js node.js and a lot of other technologies i am always playing with those things but react is something which i definitely think that uh, if you are interested in web development then you should take a look so uh, we will start with react native I'll, uh, with react.js and i'll try to explain each and everything so first of all what i would say that uh, search create react app and you will find this first github repository just go there and as well as also uh, search for react js and then you can read about it then what it is so it's not a framework it's a javascript library for building user interfaces and it has the almost the same approach of what we do with flutter so if you don't know flutter also then don't worry don't have to know flutter for learning react js but if you will learn either of them then it's very easy to pick another so um, that's that's you can see a stateful component the same thing which we have stateful widget simple component which is a stateless widget so this this is the process so i'll explain each and everything so here it, this is a guide that how you can um have this create reactive functionality so you have to write something like this so just do the installation part if you don't know how to install um, the react js or uh, uh, how to use npm and all those things so first of all you need to install the npm so go to um, node.js.org and from here you can install the um, and uh, node uh, node package and from there you will get the npm so um, npm is node package manager and uh, when you will install node.js then it will come with that so you can go to your terminal you can check if which version of uh, node you are using and also if you want to check for npm then also you can check it so these are the things which come with node and then you can use this npm to install react and uh, you can also use this uh, um, template kind of uh, create react app repo and uh, which will give you the command of create react app why which uh, you can create react application so i'll create one react application so i'll go to desktop then react i'll see if i have some uh, dummy projects here and then i will say create react app first app okay so it will create a new react app for me and uh, let's see how that works so i'm i'm going to take it very um like in a slow manner so that every one of you can understand so once it will open then i'll open my vs code and uh, sorry once it will created then i'll open my vs code and we will see 
and i i actually prefer vs code for everything these days so it's it's a great experience with vs code so i like kind of vs code a lot so now we can see that we got some commands we will check that out and now what i'll do i'll go to my visual studio code 2 from here i will open a folder from here i'll go to my desktop then react and then i can select this first tab and i'll open it and you can see the hierarchy we have a node module folder which you can ignore for the time being we have a public folder which uh, is basically which which we will talk about again then we have readme.md package.json where we have all the packages as well as the scripts like uh, the commands which we can use to do different things and then we have src folder which is basically a source folder where we will write our code so it has also some files uh, and service worker index.css app.js and all that so we'll talk about all of them in our next video so i hope you uh, should be able to install all of these in this video and then we'll talk about it in the next video if you have any problems then let me know in the comments as well and um, make sure you're that subscriber of the channel press the bell icon as well bye bye take care